Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to you all. My name is Shion Akishon. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Safe Omega Media titled A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on, on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you. Glory, glory to God Almighty for His good, for His wonderful, for His marvelous, for His masses endured forever. Welcome to Moments with Shem and also Shem Rashid on a platform tag, A Seed in Me. Here is a platform to encourage you in identifying your seed. Here is a platform to encourage you on how you can nurture or grow your seed. What exactly is your seed? Your seed is your gift or your talent? Your seed is your potential. Your seed is what you love doing easily without being stressful. Your seed is what you love doing passion, with passion that can encourage other people around you, that can bless other people around you, even that can bless the kingdom of God Almighty. Please share with family this program because it's going to be awesome in the presence of God. I have my wonderful minister, Shil Rashid, on platform. He's here to tell us how he was able to identify the great seed of God in him. He's here to tell us how, to, how he was able to overcome those challenges and what he was doing to that keep him going in the journey. Can you please share and also chip in your idea by texting your question on the page or you can as well call the studio number which is 0794278530 and if you have that great seed of God in you which I believe you do have maybe you are yet to identify your seed or you are struggling in identifying it or you already identify your seed you know what is your seed is but you are finding it difficult to take a great step this is a platform to encourage you you can call the same number to be encouraged and to be uplifted on how you can start the journey. And I pray God Almighty will give you that enablement to do whatever God has deposited in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember to share with your friends and family. It is important to share because his testimony today will encourage someone somewhere watching us tonight. For that reason, please share on your platform to bless others and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are welcome, sir. Thank you very much for having me today. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Kindly introduce yourself fully to our viewers. So my name is Sean Rashid. Um, Married with one wife, two wonderful children by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, I've been working within church ministry 
for the past 11 years now by the grace of God Hallelujah. started working with youth you know and continue to grow into various different areas in areas of marriage in areas of leadership by the grace of God. Hallelujah, wonderful. Now, can you tell us how you are able to encounter Christ Jesus? What is your first experience? Because I know we all have our experiences. We all have that one day that we are able to identify who Christ is. Mm -hmm. Can you share, please? So I remember, I mean, I always grew, I grew up in a Christian home. You know, my parents, they used to take me to church every single week. It wasn't until I was 16 that I first remember trying to do the Bible plan from, you know, where you read from Genesis to Revelation. Mm -hmm. And it was when I got to the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, where it says, um, call unto me, I'll answer you, and I'll show you greater mighty things mm -hmm. which you don't know. That's when I really first encountered Christ in terms of God speaking. That's the first time God, I ever felt God speaking to me directly, you know. And... I obviously by then I didn't start following. I was just I was still doing whatever I did at church, but then whatever I did when I'm at school with my friends, etc., etc., etc. It wasn't until I finished university that when I met my who's my wife now, Simi Sola, that we had a conversation. I remember she was she was talking about oh it's very important to have a relationship with God, etc., etc., etc. I'm thinking what's this one talking about me? I've been going to church since I'm young. What are you telling me now? But then I remember thinking about it and thinking, you know, this sounds really useful, you know, in terms of actually having a relation. In terms of, there's one thing to know about God, that's but it's right. another thing to actually know him personally for, him, for, my, for yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's when I, you know, started to pray about it and, you know, inquire, like, you know, what is this that, that she's talking about in terms of God? You know, reveal yourself to me, etc. Like, I want to have this uh, personal relationship. So through then, um, I just started to grow, and God started to put things me in the right direction. And so, sort of, you know, I started attending this Bible study, which now become my church, and it's helped me to kind of understand God personally, mm -hmm. rather than just you know, you go to Sunday, do church, and then Monday to Saturday, you do your own thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are able to have that personal relationship mm -hmm. with God, you mm -hmm. commit with Him, you read your Bible, mm -hmm. and it ministers to you more. Mm -hmm. That is how you are able to identify who Christ is. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Wow. Now I want you to tell our viewers what is exactly your seed. So my seed specifically? Yeah. So in terms of me, I mean, what, you know, when we're talking about what is our seeds, that which God has deposited within us, which is out to grow. And... There's two ways I would answer it. I would answer it specifically, okay. in terms of just for the sake of the, this conversation. And I'll start by saying how, um, for me, God has called me in the area of marriage and relationships. That's one of the areas he's called me into. Yeah. He's also called me into the area of leadership and also in terms of speaking and discipling men. Okay. They're the three core areas for me. But I always say that whenever... Whenever somebody speaks about their gifts, they never need to, they should never need to tell you. It should be evident. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, whatever you, whatever you sow, whatever seed you sow, we'll see the fruit of it. Mm -hmm. So a fish never needs to convince you they're a fish. Mm -hmm. You just look at them, you see that the way they behave, you see, that's a fish. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important for us as believers in terms of people should see what we do and it should be evident that, yeah, okay, this is, this is definitely of God. This is what God has called them to do. It will be evident in their life. Hallelujah. So basically, you are a disciple of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. You are a leader and you are into the ministry of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Can you tell us how you are able to start that journey? What are your experiences and mm -hmm. the difficulty in the journey? Mm -hmm. And what kept you going? Mm -hmm. Can you share, please? Um, for me, I learned, and it's funny enough, it's my pastor that kind of taught me this. But I, I can, as he has, when he spoke about us, I, I saw my own specific life in terms of this is how it makes sense. And for me, it's all about the, our, our verse, every single believer, our first call is to follow Christ. So we're called to follow him. In the following of Jesus Christ, he will lead you in terms of where you need to go specifically. Once our 
focal point is on Jesus, mm. then he reveals to you, okay, this is what you're supposed to do, this is where you're supposed to go, etc. So from so for me, I've learned in in, in my following of Jesus, submission and for, and serving. Okay. What is in the act of serving that you're able to see what you're good at. You know, we spoke about earlier, he was laughing in the beginning that um, about me singing that I can't sing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the reason why we know I can't sing because I don't sing. But the reason why I don't sing, <laughs> yeah, it's not my gift. You know, I've sung before and I know it doesn't sound as good as some people. <laughs> you know, even when it comes to playing musical instruments, I can't play any musical instruments. Even to clap on beat, I struggle to clap on beat. <laughs> but I knew that by trying it. So if you don't try things, you won't know what it is that you're able to do. And in that trying, it's all about service, service, serving other people, serving, you know, in a ministry, serving, just even just the, what, the community, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. serving the community, you know, putting yourself out there to actually be a blessing to other people. In that, you will see what it is that God has planted inside of you. Hallelujah. Awesome. Let me quickly acknowledge our viewers. I can see my wonderful people on the platform. My wonderful brother, Odunuga Aziz Oluwagbe Mega. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your support. Thank you for sharing for us. Thank you for even commenting at all time. May the Lord announce you for good in the mighty name of Jesus. I can also see um, brother Robert Owuma. He said, Wow, bless you, sir. Watching from Kenya. God bless you. My love to all the Kenya's people there. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. Kindly please share on your platform to bless more people. And also, my wonderful mother, Motunde George, she said, God bless you, ma. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, ma, for joining. Thank you for the love shown at, at all times. God bless you, more In Jesus' name. And also, my wonderful general, Samuel Guamama from um, Nigeria. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. He said, wow, God bless you. A mighty amen to your prayer. More blessing upon your life and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. My beautiful auntie Bola Omoden is watching and also my beautiful sister Buki Akin Dolie. Thank you all for joining. I do really appreciate because it does go a long way. Kindly please share and you have, if you have anything to contribute to what we are discussing, type it in on the page. I will read it out and you can as well call in into the studio number which is 07944-7220 and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Moving forward, can you share with us your the greatest challenge is this journey that you think that, oh, do you really want to do this at all? Is it truly that the Lord has called you? You know sometimes we are, we might be cast down when things happen mm -hmm. or when we are in our own dickest time we might be thinking is it truly god has called us mm. what are the things that you have faced and you told that god hasn't called you um by the grace of god i haven't got to a stage where i thought that god hasn't called me because i've got by his grace i've got an understanding that no matter what god exists oh yes like he exists whether i'm going through good times or i'm going through bad times it's clearly evident that God exists. You just have to look at all the things that we've created in the world, like God has created. Mm -hmm. Look at every single day, there's 24 hours. I've never known a day of 25 hours. I've never known a day of 20 hours. Mm -hmm. But the fact it's so consistent, it's clear that somebody created it. Mm -hmm. So I know that God has created us. And as a result, I know he's created me. So definitely he has, me, he has a reason for creating me. Mm -hmm. Nobody creates anything just for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. They always have something in mind for that thing to for do. That thing to so I've always had that. I guess my biggest personal challenge is comparisons, mm -hmm. where I look at myself and then I look at other people and I'm like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go as far as jealousy, but I see it's like, sometimes it's like, I see what God has done for that person. What about me? <laughs> you know, whether it's someone's got more finances or whether they've got more influence, whether they've got more power, whether they've got something of whatever it is, I must think, what about me? <laughs> you know, I'm here, me too, I'm here. I'm God, I'm, me. Yeah. Even sometimes I, when you compare with people of the world, people that don't even serve God, you see some of the things that they're doing and you're thinking, well, at least me, I'm serving you, God. Help me, <laughs> you know, why is this so person it's a channel for you to remind him that, yeah, I am serving you, <laughs> remember me. Yeah, but I guess the main point is everybody has their own race to run. That's right. Everybody, some people are, are sprinters, some people are marathon runners. 
you need to know which one you are. Because if you're if you're a marathon runner and you're trying to compete compete with a sprinter, it's not going to make sense. You know that person have their own race. I have my own race. So it's all about me focusing on my own lane and what God wants to do for me. So how are you able to overcome that challenge? Because it's a challenge on mm -hmm. its own, comparing yourself and mm -hmm. thinking that, oh, am I doing it right? Why mm -hmm. those people are doing greater mm -hmm. than me? How are you able to overcome? How does God step in to help mm -hmm. you? Yeah, um, one thing he's definitely done is put the right people around me. Okay. So, you know, my mentors, my... Um, my peers, they're able to kind of help me stay in track. When I have conversations with them, they're very encouraging in terms of, you know, remember that you, you have your own race to run, you, you have this, this. Uh, sometimes we're so busy focusing on other people's garden that we're not looking at our own garden to actually know that there's good things that are going on, but we're focusing on the wrong thing. You know, someone that's um, got good health is, is jealous of somebody that's got more money, <laughs> even though they're in the hospital. <laughs> you know, you're in a better position, at least you've got good health. Exactly. So sometimes we, you know, mm. when having these sort of conversations with people helps to encourage me to remind myself, you know what, it's true, I'm not, you know, we're, we're in different races, we're in different places, you know, we, we have different assignments even. That's you right. You know, so the one that has five talents, well, God, God gave one five talents and one gave another one one talent in the parable. The one that had the one talent did, was too busy focused on the fact that someone had five, someone That's had right. two. And he didn't do anything with the one that he had. But he forgot that he, to whom much is given, much is expected. Oh, yes. <laughs> so yes. if, they, if, you, if they gave you more, are you able to handle that more? Mm -hmm. It's when we're able to handle the little that God gives us more. Then they will give us more. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you for sharing this. I can see my wonderful brother, Okweyemi Abayomi. Thank you, sir, for joining us. God bless you. He said, good evening to our hosts and guests. Good evening, sir. I'm happy to see you on the platform today. Moving forward, um, thank you for sharing that with us. Now, I want you to tell us about your charity, uh, being sh um, organizing charity. Mm -hmm. How did you get this vision and what is the purpose for this vision? Mm -hmm. Well, it's part of the church that I attend. So our pastor leads a charity, Florian River. Well, it's the church, Florian River's ministry, but we have a charity arm of it. Okay. So as part of that, um, you know, it's from scripture that Jesus um, gave the, he spoke to the disciples. Well, he spoke to and he said, um, you know, when I was naked, he didn't clothe me. When I was hungry, he didn't feed me. And it says, when did we, when did, when was he naked? When was he clothed? When was he in prison? It says, if you've done this to the least of them, you have done this unto me. So there's a call for every believer to be involved in serving, you know, the destitute, the people who are homeless, the people who are, you know, whether it's orphans. If you look throughout the whole Bible, you see that God has a very massive heart for people, mm -hmm. the widows, the orphans, mm -hmm. you know, people who have less. So there's, that's where that arm of the charity is all about in terms of, it's, there's, I don't really like using the word charity. I call it ministry because charity, they do it because they are good. <laughs> when they do a church, like, you know, look what we're doing. These are the people we've heard because we are good. But we do this because God has called us to do this. Okay. The love, so he's a ministry on his own. Mm -hmm. The love that God has for us, we have to pour into other people. The Bible says, how can you say you love um, your, bro your brother? You don't, yeah, how can you say you love me if you don't love brother you see? Right. You know, the Bible says in the book of James, if... Um, what good is it to somebody that's homeless that you say to them, God bless you? It's not God bless you that they need. <laughs> it's food, they need clothing, you know, and that's what God has called us to do as a ministry. So that's, you know, we're very outward focusing, outward facing in, you know, looking after the destitute and bringing them in. And that's the way we bring them into the relationship with Christ. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Wonderful. This is awesome. Now, can you share with our viewers how... Would you like people to contribute into this ministry? Because I know in a way, if someone is into charity or ministry of this kind, mm -hmm. you will need support from everyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because some people do it back in Africa, mm -hmm. some people do it here mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. UK. So how do you do yours and how do you want to uh, as, um, share the platform mm -hmm. with our viewers mm -hmm. for them to be able to contribute? Yeah, so part of our ministry, we have um, four main strands, birthing life within, birthing life around, birthing life, no, birthing life within, birthing life together, birthing life around and birthing life beyond. So when the birthing life around, that's all the, char all the charitable arm that we do here locally in the UK. So that's things like food banks, going to the prisons, feeding the homeless people, elderly people, and um, there's one more food bank, the food bank service that we have. Okay. And that's what we do locally. And you know, to get more information, go to our, face our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, 
called Flowing Rivers UK. Okay. Definitely, you can get more information, and our website as well, flowingrivers.org. You can get more information about all the things that we do. We also do work out in Kenya, in in South Africa, and in Borneo. Okay. So there's um you know there's an orphanage that we support in Kenya and in oh. Borneo. There's also work that we're doing out in within the local churches in Kenya as well, mm. and in um. Tanzania and South Africa. Hallelujah. So how often do you do this? Oh, I mean, it's constantly all year round. I mean, I've personally, as a ministry, we've been to Kenya every year apart. I think, I'm trying to think, I don't think we went in 2020 because of the COVID. Okay. But every other year since 2014, we've been going as a ministry, okay. you know, to support Kenya, sometimes twice a year, sometimes three times a year depending on the work that we do now in Kenya okay. and other parts of Africa as well. Did you specifically choose Kenya or do you have other parts of Africa that you are willing mm. to visit in the future? Yeah, so it, I mean it was, it started through when God spoke to our pastor about Kenya because okay. he had no connections to Kenya at all, he didn't know anybody in Kenya. Mm. It was just, he knew that, I think it was in 20, 2009 I think. Okay. I could be wrong, but um, where God spoke to him about Kenya, and he's thinking, ah, who do I know in Kenya? Mm -hmm. But then, in a few years later, God connected him with somebody where he okay. visited someone in Kenya, and then he knew, okay, this is where God wants us to be. Hallelujah. So it's definitely wherever the Bible says in John chapter three, how the, you know the way the wind goes, you don't know if it's going left, you don't know right, mm -hmm. as the Spirit leads. So wherever the, the Holy Spirit leads us to go, that's basically that's where, where we go. Going. Hallelujah! Wonderful. Thank you. Let me uh, quickly take a short break by watching one of the videos that we have um, visited Kenya mm -hmm. to do the charity. Let's watch that to encourage other people watching us and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please stay tuned and also remember to share and it shall be well with you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Birth in life, wherever we flow.
and I told him, and I told him, whatever, whatever I love, not my life. The love is that my mom was very grateful for all at the sound of her love. And now I believe that whatever I'm going to be doing at school will be okay. Amen. Because me and that's the Almighty God for the blessings and everything. And yesterday I was so ill. Yeah, and my brain was pumping like, <laughs> like no one's business. <laughs> so when I was singing, I had like I want to paint, but I thought my sister and my brother there, they came and prayed for me, and then I came here at night. And I've seen the hand of God, amen. to God Almighty. Welcome back to Moments with Shell and also Minister Shell Rashid on a platform tag is still in me. Do you realize that there is a great seed of God in you? The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 that we should all arise and shine for the glory of God is upon us. It means that there is something God has deposited in us. Without you unleash or locating the seed, you can never shine in life. You need to work on your seed to work on it, water it, grow it for you to be shine in life. And I pray God will open our inner sight in the mighty name of Jesus. For adventure, you are just joining us. I have Minister Sheryl Rashid on platform. Is here sharing with us how he was able to identify his great seed. He was into um, a ministry, three different ministries, a relationship ministry, a youth pastor ministry and also a disciple ministry taking people to the to the kingdom of god please if you have that great seed of god in you and you are willing to share your experience 
with other people you are welcome to this great platform it's open to everybody that have that great potential in them you are welcome just call into the studio number which is 079447220530079447530 and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of jesus I can see my other people that just joined us. Thank you all for joining my beautiful sister. Ola Kweju joins me. She said, God bless your ministry. A mighty amen. And also my wonderful prophetess, BC Ola Muti. She said, good evening, my sister. Great work. She well done. Thank you, man. God bless you for joining at all time. More anointing upon your life. And also my wonderful sister, Oh, uh, Simi Sola Rashid. Oh, wow. She said, wonderfully love this. Well done, King, and our wonderful host. Thank you for your support as well. God bless you. And also, my wonderful sister, um, Olakwiju Johnson said, well done and more anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Ma, for the comments and prayer. God bless you. My wonderful prophetess, Alice Olabisi, uh, Olatopos, who said, God bless you, Shil and Pastor Stan, Sam. Thank you, Ma, for the prayer. Amen. And wonderful DJ. Hmm. He said he's a friend. Wonderful DJ. Do Missian Sonny Gabangu. It's a beautiful work being done. We thank God for the ministry such as Flowing River. God bless you, sir, for the comment. More anointing upon you all. Kindly please share on your platform. Bless other people with this program and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Moving forward now. Can you share with us? Because you said earlier on that uh, you are also an author. Um, as you rightly said, you are into ministry on a relationship. Mm -hmm. So tell us how you are able to identify that seed of you writing the books. What exactly are the books that you have wrote and what is it regarding? Mm. Um, so you know, it was when there was a youth program we did years ago, 2013, um, within the CNS Youth um, called You Stole My Heart. And there, myself and Simi was, wasn't even engaged at the time oh, okay. and was just talking about relationships, etc, etc. And at the end of it, I proposed to her and, you know, those who were there, they were... <laughs> yeah. And then, um, it was fine that night, Simi was just lying in bed, just thinking about every, excuse me, everything that just happened and she was probably like in awe and etc. And then God just told her to write a post and to share it. And Simi, those that know Simi know that she's a very private person. She doesn't like spotlight. She doesn't like, yeah, she likes to keep herself to herself. She doesn't like airing out her business as, as such. She likes keeping everything to herself. But the fact that, she, so when God told her to write it, she was like, okay. So she started writing it and she put a post and it went viral and et cetera, et cetera. And from then God told her that, you know, this is what I want you two to be doing, to be sharing your story, to let people know that, you know, it is possible to do things God's way from a relation perspective. And as we started to mature and develop, we learned that one of the most important things to have a fruitful society, having a blessed society is from the home. If everything is good at home, then from there, everything else will be perfect. You know, if you go to the prisons, for example, the majority of the men in the prisons, they grew up without their father at home. You know, there's so many broken homes that we have in society, we have so many broken marriages, and as a result of these broken homes, we see that being filtered out into the brokenness that we see in, in, in society. But if everything is good at home, then we have more health, we have more whole, healthy society, mm -hmm. we have more healthy communities. That's right. So it's very important, so it's very, that's where it kind of started from. Okay. In terms of the book itself, it was um, something I was praying about, well, 2020 we wrote a book, it was in 2019 that the Lord spoke to me about writing a book called The Marriage of Grace. Mm -hmm. And I remember, um, the, in the 2020, we started, at the end of 2019, I spoke to my wife about it and was like, okay, yeah, we'll do this. We're going to write this book together. And we was talking about it and for so long, it just, nothing was coming out. <laughs> we set the date that, you know, it's going to be released in August because that's when our anniversary is. Oh, okay. And the book is called The Marriage of Grace because 
it would be in celebration of five years of marriage, and five being the number of grace, according to the scripture. So we spent time trying to write a book, and nothing was happening, nothing for nothing. It wasn't until April that we prayed about it more, and then, bear in mind, we said we were going to release it in August. <laughs> it was in April that God gave us a supernatural grace to complete it. He gave us the, the clear strategy, what we're going to talk about, and the, the way we're going to lay it out. And by the grace of God, it was done by August, and it's been you know, fantastic. Wow. Wow. work it was not easy <laughs> it was not easy but god's grace was over us in the Hallelujah. 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 wonderful where can people get this book in case they are mm -hmm. willing to get one to read so the book is free to download we have a website um, www.therashids.co.uk i know my wife is in the comments hopefully she can type in the type in the website in the comments so um people can download it click on the link it's free to download I mean, if, if people are, and what we wanted to do is wanted to be a blessing unto other people. Mm -hmm. And if people thought that, you know, this is a good book, I'm so encouraged by it. it. One, share it, mm -hmm. but also you have the opportunity to donate if you, you know, okay. whatever it is that you, that you feel blessed by. Okay. And you know, I feel that's the that's, that's the right that's the approach that God told us to take with this. That you know, don't charge for the book. Whatever people want to give, they can give if they are blessed by you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. As we can listen to what He just said now, if you are being blessed with the book, if you read it and you know that truly God has met you in a way through that book, you can donate by giving whatever God has laid in your heart because the instruction is that whoever that is blessed with it can donate. They are not charging for it. And I believe it's a way to encourage them to do more. When God spoke to them in the future to do some other thing, at least they will have something to put together to do another one. May the Lord bless you as you are willing to do this in the mighty name of Jesus. My beautiful sister, yet when they have said there, your fellow has said, good evening, ma. Well done, sis. Thank you for joining. God bless you. I can see my wonderful mother on platform watching my wonderful mother, Rashid. Thank you for joining us. Um, the website is now on the, on the page. You can see it on the page. Click on it. Download it. It's free. Oh, wow. It's even free. So we don't have any excuse not to, not to click on it to read and then, you know, it will bless you definitely because in a way we are in a relationship. If not with husband, at least with a friend. If not with a friend, with a mother, with a father, with colleague at work, this will encourage us on how we can unite in whatever area we have in order to build and have a healthy and good community. And I pray God Almighty we continually to open our inner side to do the right thing at the right time in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Continue to share and it shall be well with you. Now can you share with our viewers who are your mentors? So our main one is our pastor. So he's been with me since 2010. We, you know, he he's taught me so much, not necessarily just by physical speaking, but sometimes just by watching their conduct, watching the way they behave, watching the way they move in that sort of area. We also have... Um, so those are yeah. the things that inspire you to choose them as your mentors, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. it's through his, it was through his conduct through his behavior, because I remember the first time I heard him preach, I just thought, wow, this person is different. This person is different. And then as I got to know him, I started to see that it's not just, like for me as well, um, I'm, I'm a Bible junkie. <laughs> in the sense that I love, you know, things in the Bible. I love reading it. I love studying, gaining more information, gaining more knowledge. So I saw that he was definitely someone that was able to, you know, had so many questions. Mm. I still have so many questions and he's there to answer them. And then, but one thing that I've, le that I've learned mm. in my life is there are some people that they know the Bible, but they don't necessarily live it. Mm. You know, as in to a, not, let me not say to a T, <laughs> but at least, <laughs> you know, you can see that this person is living what they're speaking. It's not mm. just head knowledge. This mm -hmm. is their life. Mm -hmm. You can see that this is their life in their everyday life in terms of you can see the, how they operate within their household according to scripture the way they operate in terms of their business according to scripture the way they operate according to their work you know just general conduct in society i saw okay this is someone that i need to follow and learn from you know these are the sort of things that i saw in him i thought no this i have to stay close to this one <laughs> hallelujah awesome so the bible makes us to understand that 
once we are an ambassador of Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. we are meant to live the life of the Bible mm -hmm. because we are the Bible people are reading. Yes. Not many people will even have that grace to read the Bible and understand it. Mm -hmm. Many are even willing to read it, but they don't have the full understanding of the scripture. Mm -hmm. But by you behaving or living the life of what you are preaching, mm -hmm. definitely you are transforming life because they watch you and see what you are doing. Mm -hmm. What you are doing is what you are preaching. Mm -hmm. It's not contradicting. Mm -hmm. In fact, it will increase the kingdom of God. So it mm -hmm. is very important for us to always try, especially we minister of God that God has called into ministry or into one we have that one call of the other. We need to behave in a way that people will see us and see the glory of God and mm -hmm. see that truly we are the child of God. Mm -hmm. And it shall be well with us all in the mighty name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Just to even add to that, I mean, it was, it was a quote by Mahatma Gandhi. Mm -hmm. where he's not a Christian. He said that, you know, I love your Jesus. I just don't love those Christians. Oh, wow. Because the way they behave is contrary to the way Jesus behaves. Mm -hmm. Whereas if even the word Christian, it means like Christ. Mm -hmm. So we have to think about it. It, it. it shouldn't be that we call ourselves Christians, but we're not behaving like Christ. You know, a Christian is someone that behaves like Christ, not somebody that goes to church. And we have to understand it too. I'm not saying don't go to church. In fact, if you're a Christian, you will go to church. <laughs> you say we should not forsake the gathering of bread. Hundred percent, definitely. So it's, it's vital that we do. But what I am saying that is the fundamental key is our behavior and our conduct and our character. Mm. That's what wins people over to Christ. Hallelujah, wonderful. Thank you for shipping in that, and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, you told us what you understand by seed when I asked you what exactly is your seed. Mm -hmm. I want you to advise our viewers, how can they identify their seed? Mm. What can they do to nurture and grow their seed? Mm -hmm. Definitely, it starts with a relationship with God. That's the key. As in knowing God for yourself, knowing at the end of the day, everything that was created has a purpose. Oh, yes. And the person that created it know why they done it. Oh. So it doesn't make sense. I've got an Apple phone. It doesn't make sense taking my phone to Samsung if there's any problem with it. <laughs> I take it to Apple because Apple created That's it. Right. Likewise, if there's a problem or a question I have about myself, I should go to my creator. Mm -hmm. And that's, my, that's God. Mm -hmm. and, and another thing that I learned, it was Miles Monroe that spoke about this. Um, every creator, when they create something, they always leave a manual. That's right. It tells you what to do. It tells you what to do how if things go wrong, it. how to use it. Yeah. They even give you warranty if in case it goes wrong. <laughs> and, it's a, and likewise, man, God, the Almighty God, he gave, us our own, he gave us our own manual, the Bible. Which is Bible. Which is where the Bible is God's mind in words. Mm -hmm. For us to know his thoughts, to know his actions, and it's about having a relationship with God by spending time in his Bible to know what he said about us, what he wants us to do. So that's why I emphasize highly the importance of having a relationship with God because he knows you, he created you. The second part is service in terms of getting involved in serving God because that's where you learn your gifts, you learn your skills, you learn you know, what is that. That's where you sharpen them as well. David was anointed king mm. when he was in he was seventeen years old, mm. but he didn't sit on the throne for at least another thirty years. Was it for, even was it when he was forty that he even sat on the throne? Mm. <laughs> Regardless, it was a lot. It wasn't straight away that he sat on the throne. That's right. But in between that time was the training he needed mm -hmm. for when he was going to sit that on the throne. That was process time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was the pro he had to he had to serve King Saul, mm -hmm. even when Saul was trying to kill him. He's still serving. And God was trying to develop his character in that process. Hmm. It's when he ran away and into the wilderness, hmm. in the backside of the desert, where he was, that's where we get most of our psalms from, hmm. because of those experiences that he had in the psalm. But that's where he built his mighty men. Hmm. You know, the Bible said that he was men, he, men that were indebted, men that were de distressed. Hmm. But the, by the end of their life, they're the people that they call the mighty men of David. Oh, yes. And that's the training that God gave him. Hmm. And I think... To just, I want to emphasize the importance of being away in the desert because when you plant a seed, you can't see the seed. It gets buried. That's right. Especially, and this is an encouragement, especially to us young believers, young ministers who have gifts in whatever it is. Just because you have a gift doesn't mean it's your time to shine now. Oh, yes. First, go away, develop your character, develop your skills, develop your craft. And then when the time comes, you don't even need to, you don't even need to call yourself, they will call you. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing this with us. What he was trying to say is that um, truly and truthful, that seed is hidden in us. But then, once we identify, we need to work on it. It's time of process for us to be trained, to be developed. Then, the shine, the glory, the, the beauty of it would now come out. And it shall be well with us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much. Because of our time, I will quickly ask you to please appreciate people that you know. They have been the backbone, been the pillar, been, the su mm -hmm. been supportive in the journey of you mm -hmm. discovering your seed, even up to now, and people that will always be there for you in future. Amen. Can you please appreciate some? Well, definitely I can't go without giving glory to God. He's the reason why I'm here. He's the one that created me in the first place. So all glory has to go to him. Um, there's my parents. They've been very supportive. They've been there for me since the beginning. The foundations that they put inside of me in terms of getting to know God in the first place, building me up in prayer and spending time in my word. You know, the training that they've, the discipline, the training that they've given me as a, as a human being to become the person that I am by the grace of God. My beautiful, amazing wife, who has been there forever. Not forever, actually. <laughs> but, <laughs> until, until I go, Shad. <laughs> but definitely, since I've met Jesus, she has been there with me. She's been there for me. You know, she's been great support. She challenges me. I challenge her. You know, the Bible says iron sharpens iron. That's right. And that's what helps us to grow. And one thing about when iron sharpens iron is sometimes sparks will fly. Mm -hmm. You know, so <laughs> there are definitely times where sparks will fly. <laughs> but we're sharpening each other. But at the end of the day, we know it's for a better good. Mm -hmm. And God wants us to be refined, and you know, That's refining right. is not is not an easy mm -hmm. process. It's not. It's, 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 mm. it's, it's, it's it involves it's fire. <laughs> so you know, you go through the fire. You go through fire. So it's then definitely... you come out as beauty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she, you know, she's definitely been a wonderful source of encouragement in my life. You know, mm. she just helped me in so many different diverse ways. You know, I was just she's taking me from the bush to prominence in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah! Wonderful. Thank you to everyone that has ever been supportive to my wonderful minister Sheila Rashid. God mm -hmm. bless you more grace and anointing to you in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Um, before we round off, I would like us to quickly go into the scripture. Mm -hmm. I will set a time for you just for sixty seconds to answer about two or three. Mm -hmm. um, questions okay. people from the platform can as well contribute to the to this yes that's why i took his phone away from him so he won't peep in into your answer <laughs> whenever you if you think that you know the answer just type it in for me then i will review the answer thereafter please it is awesome to share the word of god together we don't know it all i want to learn from you you want to learn from him because nobody is island of anywhere please let us try to contribute it's always awesome when we contribute together i can see my wonderful mother hayotu de louis thank you ma for joining us she said god bless you dear a mighty amen and also my beautiful sister Yes, when they both said they are your followers, say more strength and more anointing. Rashid, amen. Thank you. God bless you. I can also see my beautiful sister Stella joining us. Sister Stella Adeshion. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Oh, in the my sin. Oh, is it? You're not from Nigeria, my own sister. Oh, thank you, Ma, for joining. God bless you. I can also see um Mr. Benjamin Rashid joining us. God bless you, Daddy, for joining <laughs> us. It shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you all. Please share to bless other people. Some people are waiting for you to share to encourage them that, yes, truly, God has really worked hard on them. He has deposited something beautiful, wonderfully unique in us all, and he wants us to return it by, by using it to bless people around us. We cannot afford to die with our gift it is important for us to use it because we're going to give an account when we die so let us use it wisely use it profitably by encouraging other people blessing people around us increasing the kingdom of god for christ to be even happy with us it shall be well with us all in jesus name now i'm going to quickly call the read the um questions out then we can review the answer out you have just 60 seconds to answer about three to four questions. The first That's question... 60 seconds for each question or for all of them? For all of them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I know you are a Bible scholar, <laughs> so... <laughs> 
Hey, let's get it done. Um, the first question is, where did men of Judea gather to anointed King David? <clears throat> where did men of Judah gather together to anointed King David? The second question, what substance was used for anointing in Israel? What substance was used for anointing in Israel? What substance was used for anointing in Israel? The third question, what was the first miracle Jesus performed? Do you want to answer now? If you are ready, okay. it's okay. I know the answer for two and three. Okay. <laughs> then the fourth question, which is the last question, is who anointed Jesus' feet with perfume? If anyone knows it on the platform, please type it in. Let's share the word together. I will leave about one minute or two. <clears throat> Okay, somebody answer, see me answer the first question. Thank you, God bless you. The second question, let's see. I can answer it now if you want. Just yeah, I'm just waiting for okay. people to contribute. That's fine. Yeah. We have another 60 seconds. The second question, let me read it out again. Maybe some people did not get it. The second question. What substance was used for anointing in Israel? The third question, what was the first miracle Jesus performed? The fourth question, which is the last question, who anointed Jesus' feet with perfume? Okay, my wonderful brother, Dumisoni, also answered question number three. Thank you, sir. God bless you. No, okay. I, think one. I know yes. two. I know two to four, but it's number one that I'm struggling with. Time up now. So I'm going to ask you to answer the question. Okay, number one. Number one question. Cool. Where did men of Judah gather to anointed King David? Oh, okay, the second question. The second one is easy oil. Okay. The Third one. Third one. When it turned water to wine. The fourth one. Uh, Mary Magdalene or Mary of Bethany. Okay, wine. thank you. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> well done. More grace and anointing. Amen. Okay, see me answer first question. She said the first one is Hebron. You got thank it you. right. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. And then the. Okay, my wonderful mother. Ola Rashid, she said Mary Mangalin. So that was for the number four. Number four. Okay. And um, my wonderful brother Dumisoni said turning water into wine. Mm -hmm. Question three. Yep. Thank you all for contributing. This is awesome. I do really appreciate. Mm -hmm. Well done. You got three out of four. <laughs> Let me clap for you. So you can come next time. <laughs> Uh, well done everyone, that was awesome. It's good to remind ourselves in the scripture as the Bible says that this Bible must, this word must not depart from you. Meditate in it day and night. It's just mm -hmm. to continually to, to go back to the scripture because at a, at a point in life we might be derailed for some reason because of the challenges. But the Bible is there to navigate us back to Christ Jesus. Thank you. This is awesome. I do really appreciate more knowledge upon you all in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Wow, wonderful. From Sweetheart Fruit, this is a little gift for oh, you, you for so coming. <laughs> Kindly appreciate Sweetheart Fruit complaint. Oh, thank you so much, Sweetheart Fruit. I really appreciate this. I love it. Thank you, thank you. Um, I would like to appreciate everybody that joined us tonight. Thank you for joining. More blessing, more anointing upon you all. Till next week that we meet again, I remain loyal to you, Shio Akisho. And, and also a big thank you to my wonderful... Um, a big thank you to 
my wonderful husband for being the pillar of this program, broadcasting for us whenever we come up. Um, thank you, Safe Omega, we go worldwide in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody requested for prayer. Can you please pray for us? Okay. Father, Lord, in your name, Amen. we just want to thank you for this opportunity to us thank to gather you, together to discuss what it is that you have in store for us in the name Amen. of Jesus. We pray for every single person watching this that they will have their own encounter with you, Lord, to know what it is that you have in store in the name of Jesus. Amen. That Jesus they will accomplish name. that which you have sent them to do in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. That they will live a life that will glorify you and honor you in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. That they will be Jesus used name. as a vessel of honor Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That those who we, we speak to all those who mm. are struggling to hear your voice, are struggling to see or go where it is that you have called them to go Amen. lord in the name of jesus opened Amen. up their eyes of understanding in the mighty name Amen. of jesus they will not they will not encounter any form of confusion Amen. in the name of jesus, jesus for you are not the author of confusion Amen. and you have given them the mind of christ Amen. so they will operate out of that mind in the mighty name of Amen. jesus i pray my lord and my god that you, that they will walk according to your ways Amen. according to your will in Amen. the mighty name of jesus Amen. thank you my lord thank and my god jesus. because you have called us to grow Greatness. Amen. You have called us to represent Amen. you, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you bless this platform. Amen. People around the world will be blessed in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Jesus name. People will be able to use this as a point of contact to, ac to accomplish their own dreams in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Jesus name. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm more anointing Amen. upon you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Till next week, we meet again the same on the same platform and same time. Stay blessed. I'm Stay tuned. Love you all.